Hey everybody, how are you today? This is Jim Prusak, physical therapist from The Pain PT. And I want to talk to you guys today about what I consider the first step in making any kind of change, whether it's due to your health condition or something in your life. And this has to do with awareness, self-awareness, mindfulness. What is awareness? What is mindfulness? And how do we use it for helping us on our journey out of pain? Well, awareness is this ability in our brains, it's actually parts of our brains that we bring online that we can start to witness and observe in ourselves what's happening. There's a word for this called interoception, and it's the ability to tune in to ourselves to s and notice through our senses what's happening. This could be sensations in your body that are related to pain or emotional feelings in your body. This could be heart rate, breathing, breathing rate. Could be any number of things. Now, when we're talking about pain and chronic pain, we're really talking about learning to bring awareness to your symptoms, to your emotional feelings, and to your thought processes. These are the three things that all go hand in hand with the pain cycle. Your thoughts, your feelings, and your symptoms. And what we wanna do with awareness is we want to see in ourselves how are we operating? How are we reacting to what we feel in terms of our symptoms, in terms of our feelings? What are we, what's going through our minds in terms of our thoughts? Okay, we first need to see these things in order to make a change. If we're not aware of these things, we're going to be unconscious and we're just going to play along and go along with the patterns happening in us, which keeps us stuck. So this awareness that I'm talking about, this mindfulness, is the ability to notice and to observe and to see in yourself what's going on. Now, awareness gives us separation, and this is what's so crucial to cultivating it. If you think about it, once you become aware of what's happening, you separate yourself from that. It's sort of like watching yourself on a TV screen, and at the bottom of the TV screen is a ticker tape running along with all your thoughts racing across the bottom, just like a news channel. And you're on the TV screen playing out a scene, maybe in an emotional way or reacting in a certain way. But when you're on your sofa looking at it, you're separate from the TV. You're not what's happening on the screen. That's not you anymore. You have a little bit of space between what's happening and your awareness. This is the key. This is the key to cultivating awareness. It allows you some space to make a choice. It allows you some room to see what's happening and then decide that, hey, I don't want to continue going down this negative thinking road. I don't want to continue to try to repress and suppress my feelings in the body emotionally. I don't want to continue to react run away from or try to fight my symptoms any longer. It allows you to make a choice to move in a new direction and to change how you behave in relation to what's happening. So Viktor Frankl was a Nazi concentration camp survivor and he wrote an amazing book about his experiences and one of the things he talks about is that how he was able to find peace and even happiness in one of the worst possible situations. And so he talked about awareness and he has this quote about that there's a space between stimulus and response. So it's in that space that we have the ability to choose. So for example, let's say we notice our symptoms in the body. And if we're not aware that we're, we're noticing them, we're going to have an automatic reaction in our minds with thoughts, most likely going to be negative, which then are going to make us feel a certain way, which again, it could be something like anger, frustration, fear, sadness, any number of emotions. Now this is going to happen automatically because this is a program, this is a pattern that's been set up in yourself because the pain has been persistent, because the pain has been chronic. 
Now, if we're aware and we see this happening and we catch ourselves going into these thinking patterns, going into our fight or flight response to our symptoms, avoiding our feelings, if we can notice and catch these things at an early stage, we have the chance to step out of it. We have the chance to just witness it. And sometimes just witnessing it alone, as if you're on your sofa watching the screen of yourself, that's enough to change the situation. It's sort of like when you're watching a movie and the movie is really emotional and you start to feel emotional. But you know at some level that you're still safe, that you're okay. Because what's playing out on the screen, no matter how violent or how emotional it is, you know at some level that it's, it, you're okay. You're not part of that, that movie taking place. But this is exactly what happens in real life, is that we actually play the part in ourselves. And we believe and think that what's happening is real. These emotions are dangerous. These feelings are dangerous. These symptoms are dangerous. And so we don't have the ability to see and step out of it. But with awareness, we do. With awareness, we have the ability to create that space where we can then witness and choose our responses. And so that's why I find that self-awareness, mindfulness can be really, really valuable with chronic persistent pain problems is because it changes our perspective on what we're noticing. It gives us a filter to what we're seeing in ourselves. So I ask you all to take some time each day throughout your day to check in with yourself, to, to become aware of what's happening in your own mind, in your own body. What do you notice? Do you notice your mind going into negative thinking? Do you notice yourself reacting a certain way to your symptoms or to your emotional feelings? Do you notice and are you aware that your body is tensing up, it's tightening, it's guarding, it's protecting? These are the things that we want to become aware of so that we can change them. We can alter them. If we don't, we're basically at the mercy of our, our patterns. We're at the mercy of our conditioned patterns in ourselves. So practice. Practice this awareness. Take some time each day to sit still, maybe 10 or 15 minutes. You can do a meditation practice or just sit still and notice in yourself what's happening. Notice your feelings, your sensations, your thoughts. Try to get a little quiet and see if you can notice these things. And then throughout your day, I want you to check in with yourself throughout the day to see what's happening in yourself. We spend so much time and so much awareness on the outside world, but we're not really aware of ourselves and what we're doing. So please spend some time to first see what your patterns are, and then the second step is a lot easier in order to change them. And we'll talk about that second step in another uh, video here down the road. But go ahead and give it a shot. If you do have questions about this awareness and how to cultivate it further, you can always reach out to me, uh, Jim at the Pain PT, or you can go to my website, www.thepainpt.com. I do consultations with people all over the world. And so feel free to reach out if you have questions or uh, you don't quite understand this. And we will talk to you soon. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.